I was attacked the other day. It was early morning, the sun was just creeping out. I locked the door, I was making my way down the stairs, and just as my foot hit the grass, it happened. It came at me. A small field mouse, hell bent on murder, its beady little eyes just inflamed with hatred. I can't be certain, but I'm pretty sure it had a gun. So I did what any sensible person would do in that situation. I shrieked, I jumped over it, ran down the stairs, got into my car, locked myself inside, and cried for five minutes. So I suffer from musophobia. I'm gonna say right now in this video, I'm gonna be mispronouncing so many words, but let's go and look at six other things that people are irrationally afraid of. Nomophobia. This is the constant fear of not having cell phone service. And this one I can kind of understand. We live in a different type of world now. If I can't within 15 seconds log in somewhere and be able to leave a shitty comment on YouTube or a death threat on Twitter, I'm not quite certain that's a world I want to live in. Oh, and to the third world, I apologize. Cholrophobia. This is the fear of clowns. And again, I can't really blame people for this one. Behind those demented painted faces is just an even more demented person laying in wait so that they can grab kids and pull them down into storm drains to harvest their souls. Or make balloon animals. I'm not quite sure which. Omphalophobia. This is the fear of belly buttons. And I can only assume this is because of how wishy-washy they are. Are they in? Are they out? Like, pick a side already. I had this uh, recurring dream when I was a kid that uh, this creature would crawl out of my belly button and then turn around and eat me. I haven't thought about that for years. Your belly button is evil. Papaphobia. I'm not Catholic, I just played one on TV. This is the fear of the Pope. But he's so cute and progressive. Reddit loves him. I just love the fact that we in a Western society value individuality and the self-made men, but we still take a little bit of time and have deference and send money to a single individual who speaks the literal word of God. It makes so much sense. Except the hat. The hat is weird. Anatidophobia. Granted, I didn't do a lot of research. I did no research, but this appears to be a real thing. The fear of being watched by a duck. I have this huge scenario that's playing around in my head where there's this team of ducks with trench coats and sunglasses on and they're just like, oh, Howard's entered the store. He's gotten some toothpaste. Rubber Ducky has got the toothpaste. Repeat, Rubber Ducky has got the toothpaste. I spend my free time doing such good things. Anglophobia. This is the fear of the English or English culture. And I get it. I mean, how can you stand such a long running TV shows like, um, that one that lasted nine episodes. If you don't get a little queasy over the idea of drinking hot bitter leaf water with your pinky held up or putting extraneous U's into your words, well, then you're probably one of those people who are still trying to convince me that Ed Sheeran is a thing. But what do you think? What are you afraid of besides commitment and rejection? What do you think the most ridiculous phobia is? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, and hey, are you in Calgary or the Calgary area? Then you might be interested in the live show that I'm gonna be doing on July the 15th. I'm gonna put some links down in the description below so you can go and buy tickets. Please go and buy tickets or this is gonna be a very expensive mistake. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kyle. I'll see you all again next Thursday, even though I'm terrified of Thursdays.